I think everybody that watches my channel regularly probably knows that I am not an Apple guy. I've never actually used an iPhone as my phone. The last Apple device I used daily was the first gen iPod Touch all those many years ago. Now, I do occasionally have to interact with an iPhone, primarily when my mom needs me to fix something going on with her phone or with her security cameras or something like that. And I tend to be very quickly confused by iOS, things like the back button, very confusing for me. But one thing that I have noticed here recently about iPhones that I thought, that's actually pretty cool, and you're probably going to disagree with me in the comments, was I saw her get a notification, and I could tell that it was being summarized. It was a very long message, I think from my sister, and it was being condensed down to like two lines rather than the novel that she had been sent. And I thought that could be very, very useful. Well, according to a couple of reports from Android headlines, it appears as though Google is getting ready to do the same things on Android. So I've condensed these two reports down to one post here over on shanecraig.tech, but I will include links to the original articles as well in the description down below. So the first thing that we need to look at is something that is apparently going to be organizing your notifications. If you've used Gmail, you've kind of seen something like this already. They actually had found in these canary builds of Android a couple of animations that illustrate this pretty well. If you're unaware, Google has recently been publishing canary versions of Android, which are like pre-beta betas. These are very, very potentially buggy, and you might see things appear in them that don't appear in full releases, but you can sort of apparently glean some information from them about upcoming features, and that is where Android Authority is getting this information. Now keep in mind, these features aren't active in these Canary builds, but there is evidence of them buried in these builds. So you can see in this animation here, several different notifications coming in. And then what happens is it uses AI to quickly sort them into specific categories. Go back here real quick, we're switching to the next animation. You can see these different categories that it's trying to intelligently put them in. So if you have something from, from Google Messages, something from Telegram, something from Discord, it can just put them all into one little section that can then be expanded to see what's going on there. Now, like I said, Gmail already has something very similar where it tries to categorize your emails, and this is something that I actually don't use in Gmail, and I kind of doubt that I'll use it on my phone, although who knows, maybe it'll be more useful to me there. But something that I am looking forward to testing is the notification summarization feature. So once again, looking at an animation found in one of these canary builds, you can see the general idea. A notification comes in, you see the little AI star icon, whatever you wanna call that little symbol, and it kinda of does its thing, and it summarizes this into something that is much shorter. Now, I'm sure that you've heard the news about AI summarizations on iPhones being not that great. They've had lots of potential issues. This article over on Apple Insider talks about this one example that's very, very funny. It was a notification that came in on a user's phone talking about how Nikki Glaser killed it as the host of the Golden Globes, but the summarization said that Nikki Glaser had been killed. This is obviously not the same thing. Apple is trying to summarize basically any notification that is relatively long coming in, and it's getting things wrong. Well, Google is apparently taking a different approach. According to this article on Android Authority, they're gonna be focusing on messages and group chats. So only message notifications that are over a certain length. It's a more conservative approach than what Apple is doing, but it should limit the scope of these mistakes. It's not trying to summarize news and other things like that. It's just gonna be focusing on long messages. Now it's worth pointing out, because I'm sure people will immediately be concerned about privacy here, that these things should be running on Gemini Nano. This is a version of Google's Gemini LLM that runs locally on your device. So there's no reason to think that your messages, your notifications are being sent to a data center and then sent back, summarized and shortened. This should all be happening on your device, just like the call recording summaries, just like your actual recording summaries. There's lots of things that Gemini Nano is doing 
on your device locally. This should be exactly the same. I would also expect both of these features, if they do launch soon, to launch with the Pixel 10. This may be among the much larger suite of new AI features launching on those devices, but they should make their way to other devices later on. I know that some people are gonna hear this and think that this sounds completely useless, but to me, the idea of having a really long message come in and getting a truncated summary so that I know what it is, if I need to actually open it, pay attention to it, or if it's something I can go, okay, got it, I can move on from now. That actually does sound very useful, and I'm always interested to see more places where these AI features can actually be useful in my day-to-day -day life. So many of the features that get touted are things that I go, that's cool, but I'm never going to use that. There are only a handful that I actually do want to use and do use relatively often. I think this could be another one. Of course, if it's not your thing, I'm sure this is something you're going to be able to disable if you don't want it to happen. So don't panic about being forced into using these AI features that maybe you don't want to use. You should be just fine. Guys, thanks for watching. Drop some comments down below. How do you feel about these features? Do you think that it's something that you would actually want to use? Do check out the original links in the description down below. Hit that subscribe button before you go so you don't miss out on more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.